Okay, now in this lecture we want to introduce you to the hook cooling system. It's a new development for cooling down the hook, um, sometimes on uh, collet conditions at certain uh, levels of different stresses. They will get this possibility to have a little bit of a laminitis. And the new research is that if you cool the feet ahead of time, you prevent the stresses to the feet. And this is all documented at universities, vet universities, and more studies are coming out more of the time. With the competition horses, there's sometimes stresses where you have horses like footing conditions, you can have stone bruises, you have some of these horses, older horses at 17 that are still jumping in a very good form, they have a little bit of a navicular syndrome, so many requests come from the top level trainers that they want to cool the feet um, after some big competition so they feel better and the next day the horses have a better performance. This is the material that we've been using starting with and it's a very simple system. We have designed the system basically with a Cavalier hook boot because it protects the horse, it keeps the wrap in place and the horse could be a long time under the cooling system because it's a well, strong, durable hoof boot that's made for riding. But we're using it for a support boot for the wrap. This is the design boot to go with the Cavalier boot made by Equiman Newmark. And what we use, we have a pump mechanism which you see over here with ice water and we can use it with any other type of ice machine because the valves are versatile. In this system, the water will come in, ice water or coolant will come in, go around the top part of the coronary band to the low part of the coronary band, underneath the bulbs to the frog, through the frog, to the bottom of the coronary band on the other side, to the top part of the coronary band and out again. As you see the water is circulating, it's coming in. The thermal, you get the same temperature of the water, stays consistent through the wrap. It doesn't lose so much between the in and out. And that also puts a little pressure on from the uh, pressure from the inlet having a strong pressure onto the wrap. The wrap, wrap is made of very strong, durable, um, a little bit of a heavy duty elastic plastic to absorb that um, stretching effect. So there's a little bit of a compression on the boot. This is the Cavalier boot. It's designed for riding, but we, we feel it's one of the strongest boots for this circulating wrap. And we have, basically, it's got good support. Um, the horse can stand in it, and it will hold the wrap in place for a long time. And what we do, what we do is we take two inserts, and we put them into the boot to raise the horse's foot. So the wrap can fit inside. And so horses with shoes, it's not a problem. We use a little bit of a hoof plastic at the bottom of insert because what it does is raise the insert up into the frog. And we put a little hoof plaster also at the bottom of the hoof. And when you take a horse's hoof and you want to have the boot, we prefer to take the boot one size bigger than a normal riding boot because it gives room for the wrap and also the horse is not moving with the circulating system, so it makes room for it. So to measure the correct boot for each horse, you need to measure from the toe to the bulb of the feet. As you see, this is about 147, and that means it should have a riding boot of a number 5 size. But we're going to use for the cooling system a number six size, one size bigger. As you see, the horses have the clinches from the nails, and they have really sharp edges, some of them, especially if they get along. So you have to be very careful that you don't put the wrap over this or it comes into contact if it slips down. So what we like to suggest that you tape the clinches on these horses that have shoes. As you see that we've taped the horse and there's no sharp edges for the clinches. As you see we have a big wrap for the back to hold the hose. We have two small ones for the hoses on each leg. We have this big long system that will go over the horse. As you see it connects to both wraps. So now what we're going to show you is that we put the boot on first and second we put the hose connection to the machine. I pick the foot up. I hold the foot we put the wrap around the horse here. We have a stretchable band that will fasten the wrap. We push the mechanism into the frog there so it curves around. The two hoses are there. As you see the boot has the pack in. We will put a little putty into the foot just so that it keeps the contact a little better. We come down a little lower. We bend this under, we put the boot 
the shoe into the boot. Very, that's why the one side is important, so the horse has the ability that the wrap can get in there and fit nice. We let the foot come down. Have the pull down wrap that's fastened to the wrap. This comes in, the wrap closes here, the wrap closes there. You take it, fasten the boot. That's why the one size is really important for this type of mechanism. There we go. Now we have a very secure coolie around the coronary band, the back of the bulbs, and the frog. And the horse is very safe to walk around and move with this boot. We have a strap we put around the horse. all types of horses and it's adjustable in three places. That will be made to put the hose. Okay, we put the horse hose over the horse. The hose comes under the wrap so it keeps it centered there. And your left side and then you do is you can flip. You want to hear the click? Click. Click. Very secure. The other one is not attached to the hook, but it's a stop valve, so there's no problem. You have a small wrap to secure the holes. bit of ice. Maximum we fill the ice to the water line so we got about 80% uh, of the container full of ice to get the optimum cold. We only have one third here. We add water to the top of the ice cubes. Okay, now we have the valves here. We got the ice machine and you make sure that it clip and click and it's ready to rock and roll. Now the water has been pumped from the ice water through the wraps into the hook book and back again, cooling and back through again.